Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm back talking about Agile Teams again. In a previous video, I showed how to manage the backlog, add other tasks from ServiceNow to your backlog. In this video, we're going to talk sprint planning. Okay, how are you going to plan those sprints? How are you going to make sure the right work's getting done with dependencies and prerequisites and all that good stuff? I've still got the backlog up here because I want to show you one more thing, and that's when we're planning a sprint, we may want to bulk assign some stories in our backlog to a particular team. So the nice thing is, this is ServiceNow. We got some quick ways to do that. I'm just going to tailor my view here and add the particular assignment group for uh so i can see that when i'm looking at this backlog so i'm going to add that to my list here i'm going to bring this up kind of right next to the epic right before the epic let's get that right oh yeah that's fine we'll put it there and now i'll be able to see the assignment group for these i'm just going to right click here and show matching on the empty ones and let's assume you're a good product manager you're a good backlog manager and you were like hey these 10 things or however many there are um, these need to go to my dev heads group so that i can actually see more than two items in my back or my backlog for the dev heads team so i got those nine items not 10 moved them over to dev heads team in bulk i'm good there so i hit my back button actually i don't need to hit back it's in a different tab now i'm back to my backlog i don't need to do anything else here i can jump right over to sprint planning and now i have on my screen all the items in the backlog that i may want to start putting into my sprints for the dev heads group I've got three sprints pre-configured up here at the top. So I just made three. I did it automatically using the, um, the tool where you can create multiple sprints, but you can actually come in here and do it from the sprint planning board. I can just say what the capacity is. This is pulling in from the group capacity. And we see that none of these sprints have stories in it. So if you saw my last video, you know that things are drag and droppable. So I can go ahead and start building out my sprints just by dragging and dropping things into sprints. And you're not seeing it there. Let's click the little bit on arrow. So you can see now stuff actually dropping into there. Let me pull in this one. And you know we did that incident on a previous video. So let's pull in that incident and add it to the sprint right here. That's it. Now I can see how many points and stuff are associated with it. Well, I can't because I don't have points assigned, but let's open up a couple of these stories. So I wanna show you the progress meter on the sprints. So you saw my capacity was about 100 points. So when I update this story, we'll put some uh, acceptance criteria in there too. When I update the story, it's going to change my group capacity here at the top to 40 story points or 40% of my group capacity because my capacity is 100 points. So we get a nice visual indicator of when our sprint's getting too full. So as you're dragging and dropping your groom stories into sprints, it's going to look nice. Now, this isn't the only way that you can manage your sprint planning. You can also do it from a scrum program. So before making this video, I set up a program demo and that included two teams, my dev heads team and my my uh, HR delivery teams. You see them here on the left hand side. Now from this part particular view, and scrum programs are more than one team, you'll see why here in a second, I can go ahead and add sprints from here too. So if I need to create sprints from this particular view, I can do it as well and I can get creative with the number of sprints, stuff like that. But importantly, if I want to populate the backlog, I can do that right from here as well. So if I open up this change logo sprint, let's get some points in here so we see our uh, progress meter actually changed. We'll put 50 points on that. We'll put some acceptance criteria, hit save, and now my change logo has the right information into it so that when I drag it into a sprint, we're going to see this dev head sprint 124 actually increase the story points or the sprint capacity for that particular one so that we see how much is in there. Now, the other thing that's neat is dependencies within ServiceNow. So for my stories, I can see that there's actual dependencies. I'm gonna point out a little button here at the very top. It's these three lines and three dots, and that allows me to turn on my dependencies on this particular view. And we should see that there's some stuff out of order. My head is in the way, so let's move it. Right here, we've got um, the this particular sprint dev sprint number 17 has a story in it that depends on something happening in sprint 20. well how can you do that let's answer that how can you get something done if it depends on that so what we could do is we could take this story and move it to sprint 21 and then we should see that um actually did the opposite i wanted let's get that right there and did the opposite i wanted uh right there it's still red. Actually, was it green this way? It was green this way. Yeah, it's green this way. So, okay, you see me there. I messed it up live in the demo. I'm not going to edit it. So, I'm colorblind, just so you know. So, green and red are really tough for me. So, green is good, means they're not out of order. If I did have them out of order, like you saw me do by accident there, it will turn that line red, showing that one is happening 
before the other and you need to reorder your sprint. So there's out of order, it being red, here's me grabbing it and putting it back in order so I get a green dependency uh, between those two things. That is sprint planning and service now. They make it easy, they make it simple as a product manager, as a backlog manager to get those sprints filled up to capacity and take care of your dependencies between stories in a particular sprint or between stories between teams that are working on different things. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in sprint planning. And until next time, don't forget, always be learning.